With Christmas fast approaching, all the shops are starting to get their Christmas stuff in and uh, a shop in Douglas in, on the Isle of Man called TK Maxx, it's a, it's a big chain of stores, had these illuminated stars and this is basically these sort of illuminated globes that are lit by LED. And if you look at the back, it's quite interesting. I thought initially that uh, the LEDs were just pushed into the back of these and they were uh, sort of a wedge fit, they were pushed through. But you can actually unscrew these caps and it reveals the LED poked through, it is actually poked through uh, the back of this. And it reveals the, the globe in the front has a thread and then it's got the bit that just traps the LED. It's, it's shaped at the back and it's thin enough plastic that when you put this through and you screw it on you can then shove the LED into it and it will make it an illuminated globe. Quite neat. It's also interesting that uh, technically speaking then I could uh, although I'd have to work a way to actually uh, minimise the cable lengths to actually fit it all in, I could theoretically get a set, another set of, say, 20 LEDs. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yep, I could get a string of LEDs and I could just change this to any colour I wanted. Uh, so I quite like these. I quite like these caps because they, they are a neat design. However, what is also interesting is the fact the little controller that comes with it has the timer built in. You can see the wee quartz crystal here uh, inside and uh, it's got two positions. It, they're not marked. I mean it's an existing case. Um, oh wait, no, is that marked? Hold on. Oh it is. I lie. Uh, the middle position is the timer and the far position is on. So it's off, timer and on. So let's take a look at the circuitry in that. I quite like these little uh, timer modules. They generally work on the basis that they're six hours on and 18 hours off and what that means is that when you switch on the evening, the first night, and you just leave it in timer mode then it'll go off six hours later and then it'll light at the roughly the same time the following night. So let's take a look at the circuit board inside and see what's uh, on it. So the first thing I'm seeing here is the generic little 8-pin chip that we see in everything. So let's have a look at that and see if there's anything printed on it. No, nothing printed on it. Nothing at all. I've just steamed that up, haven't I? Yes, I have. It's the excitement. It's the excitement of Christmas. So yeah, it's a, a little generic 8-pin chip in there and it doesn't look like it's got uh, any numbers on it at all. Next to it is a transistor and then just a smattering of resistors and that's really it apart from that crystal in the back. So I'm going to uh, hike that out now. I would normally take a photo of this uh, but right at the moment because I've been looking after my mum all week because my brother Ralph is away at a whiskey thing, uh, my laptop is over there at the moment so although I've got the printer here I can't actually print out in it. So I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to take a check out the circuitry and doodle it down and we'll take a look at it. So the circuitry is as simple as you'd expect for something that is so mass-produced and common now, these little timer modules. It's got the three AA cells, which will give either a voltage of between, say, 3.6 volts with nickel metal hydride cells or 4.5 volts with a set of fresh alkaline cells. And that 4.5 volts, the positive rail, goes to the mystery chip and it also goes via a 39 ohm resistor which sets the LED current. Uh, and then to the LEDs, the positive side of the whole LED chain. And the LEDs can then be turned on either by the chip or directly via this negative rail coming down here to the switch. And if the switch is put into this position, it will ground, well, it'll take the negative of the LEDs down to the zero volt rail and, you know, this act, bit of the active circuitry will not be present at that point. It will just turn the LEDs on with the 39 ohm resistor in series with them. If, however, you put it to the time position, uh, it powers this chip. And this chip has a little uh, crystal, which it do it's not marked. I'm guessing it's 32.768 kilohertz, because that's a very common timing crystal. I'll come back to that in a moment, uh, why it is such a common timing crystal. So that chip then uh, starts its timing cycle, the six hours on, by taking the output positive via this 560 ohm resistor to the base of the transistor, and then it brings the LEDs on. And after that six hours has uh, timed out, it'll then start its 18-hour off period, and then the next day they'll light up at the same time and run for six hours and so on. 
<clears throat> the transistor incidentally is at J3Y. Um, the timing crystal, now 32.768 kilohertz is a really common uh, frequency for these timing crystals because of a very specific reason. If I type in 32,768 hertz into the calculator and then I set a constant, constant to divide that by 2 by pressing divide twice, divide, divide and then 2 Every time I press the equal button, it will divide that number by 2. So it's gone from 32.768 kHz down to 16.384 kHz. And if I press it again, it's 8,192, then again, 4,096. And MD who uses binary will realise this is a nice round binary figure. 2,048, 1,024, 512, 256, 128, 64... 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and then finally 1. And that means that by dividing 32.768 kilohertz down in, by binary, you get to 1 hertz. And that's what it's using as the base timing frequency. And it will, the chip will then have a fixed counter that counts how many seconds would be in a period of 6 hours. And... The 6 hours on versus 18 hours off is also a binary counter because uh, if you consider that uh, the in binary multiples, 4 is a nice round number. So it's only on for one of those four steps. So really it's all down to binary and counters in here. That's all that's in here. Um, and that's what's providing the timing. It's probably not a microcontroller. It's possibly a dedicated chip just for this function, which would make sense. So it's quite a nice set of lights. Uh, it's quite a nice little module. It's worth really, I was going to say it's worth buying for the module alone. It was a wee bit more expensive than that. You can get these with strings of uh, ordinary little fair lights now. But um, it's a useful little device. You know, it's got other applications. And the metal star itself, I wish I'd got more now because I do quite like that. And the idea of putting different coloured LEDs and different ones is quite appealing. But uh, I got one and then I went back the following week and they were all sold out. So that's uh, basically it. That's, it's uh, quite nice to see these little timing modules just popping into lots of different lights this year. It's, it's good. It's a good direction because uh, it means that you can just save battery life just by turning the lights on and forgetting about them and they'll just light for the designated time each night.